Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to design XOR gate using Medaline neural network. This is the problem definition. We need to use Medaline network to implement XOR function with the help of bipolar inputs as well as the targets here. We need to assume the required parameters for training the network. This is how the network will look like. Because uh, XOR function cannot be implemented with single layer, we need to use multiple number of uh, layers here. This is the hidden input layer, this is the hidden layer, and this is the output layer over here. X1 and X2 are the two input layer neurons. Z1 and Z2 are the hidden layer neurons, and Y is the output layer neuron here. We need to assume the required parameters. In this case, we need to assume these uh, hidden layer uh, weights as well as we need to assume the output layer weights over here. Now we need to consider one input at a time and then the input will be propagated throughout this particular network so that we will get the output at the output neuron. First we will calculate the net input at each and every neuron. The output will be calculated using activation function. That output will be given as an input to the next layer and we will get the output at the output layer at the later stage. Once you get the output at the output layer, we need to compare that particular output with the target. If both of them are same, there is no need to update these particular weights. If the target and the calculated output are not same, we need to go back and modify the weights over here. But we have one very peculiar property of this uh, Medline network. In this case, uh, we don't update these output layer weights as well as the bias. They will be constant throughout this particular training. We will update only the hidden layer weights that is B1, W11, W21, W12, W22 and B2 over here. We don't update B3, V1 and V2 while training this particular Medline neural network. As I said earlier, this is how the network will look like with the initial parameters. I will assume the learning rate as 0.5 in this case and this is how the XOR gate truth table looks like. X1 and X2 are the two inputs, T is the target in this case. I will start with the first input. The first input has X1 is equal to 1 and X2 is equal to 1. The target in this case is equal to minus 1 over here. Once you know this particular input as well as the target, now we need to calculate the net input at each and every neuron over here. So in this case, uh, net input at this particular Z1, that is Z in 1 is equal to X1 W11, that is X1 W11 plus X2 W21 plus B1 over here. Now once you put this particular value, X1 is what here? 1, W11 is 0.5 x2 is equal to 1, w21 is equal to 0.2 and b1 is equal to 0.3, you will get the answer as 0.55 over here. That is z in 1 is equal to 0.55. Similarly, we need to calculate the net input at z2, that is z in 2 over here. That will be calculated something like this, x1 w12 plus x2 w22 plus b2 over here. We know all the values, we will put it in this equation so that we will get Z in 2 in this particular case. Now once you calculate this Z in 1 and Z in 2, we need to calculate the output at this particular neurons using activation function. So to calculate this uh, output, we have to use the bipolar activation function. The bipolar activation function looks something like this. F of Z in is equal to either plus 1 or minus 1 based on the value of this Z in. If the value of Z in is greater than or equal to 0, the output will be 1. If Z in is less than 0, the output will be minus 1 in this case. Now we will try to calculate the output at uh, uh, this Z1 and Z2. So Z1 is equal to F of Z in 1, which is equal to F of 0.55. We have calculated in the previous slide. Because 0.55 is greater than 0, the output will be 1 in this particular case. Similarly, Z2 is equal to F of Z in 2. Z in 2 we have already calculated, that is 0.45. Again, 0.45 is greater than or equal to 0, hence the output is 1 over here. Now, once you calculate the output at this particular Z1 and Z2, now we need to propagate this Z1 and Z2 through this particular output layer neuron so that we will calculate the output over here. Now, we need to calculate the Y in over here. Y in is calculated something like this one, Z1 V1, so this should be equal to V1, plus Z2 V2 plus B3 over here. We know Z1 that is equal to 1 over here. V1 we have already written here that is 0.5. Z2 is known to us and V2 we know the particular value here. We know the value of B3 also. 
once you put all these particular values we will get y in is equal to 1.5 over here once you calculate the net input at this particular y we can use the same activation function to get the output here f of uh, y in that is y is equal to f of y in which is equal to f of 1.5 1.5 is again greater than equal to 0 so the output will become 1 in this particular case so the calculated output for this particular input is equal to 1 and the target is equal to what minus 1 over here because the calculated output is 1 and the target is minus 1 they will not match in this particular case because the target and the calculated output doesn't match as I said earlier we need to go back and we need to update the weights but as I said earlier the peculiar property of Madeline is we should not update this particular output layer weights we need to update only this particular hidden layer weights over here now the question is how to update those particular weights to update the hidden layer weights we need to use these particular equations wij new is equal to wij old that is the old weight plus alpha that is nothing but learning rate multiplied by t minus z in j that is uh, if when you calculate this particular w11 this uh, z in we need to consider multiplied by x i that is nothing but this one we need to consider over here bj new is equal to bj old plus alpha into t minus z in j here there will not be any input because input for this particular bias is always equal to 1 over here now uh, we will try to consider each of these particular weights and we will try to calculate here w11 new in this case is i and j are equal to 11 w11 old w11 old is equal to how much 0 0.05 we know that value alpha which is equal to 0.5 t minus z in 1 t is equal to how much that is equal to minus 1 over here minus z in 1 z in 1 is equal to how much 0.55 over here multiplied by x1 x1 is equal to 1 in this case once you solve this equation you will get the value as minus 0.725 over here similarly we will calculate w12 new w12 new is equal to w12 old that is equal to how much we have that particular value is equal to 0.1 alpha again 0.5 t minus z in 2 t is minus 1 z in 2 is equal to how much that is 0.45 multiplied by x1 that is 1 which is equal to minus 0.625 over here similarly we need to calculate b1 over here b1 new actually b1 new is equal to minus 0.475 once you calculate these three that is b1 w11 and w12 we need to calculate w21 w22 and then b2 over here we need to use the same equation to get these particular values w21 new is equal to minus 0.575 w22 new is equal to minus 0.525 b2 new is equal to minus 0.575 over here once you calculate these particular updated weights we need to give the next input that is this is the next input with these particular modified weights again we need to calculate this particular uh, calculated output at this output neuron and then compare again this particular target over here if it matches no need to update the weights if it doesn't matches again we need to go back and modify those particular weights over here all those particular things have been shown in this uh, particular table we have i have shown complete calculation for this particular input that is one one you can see here target is equal to minus one we have to calculate z in one z in two z one z two y in and y once you calculate this particular y the calculated y is equal to one target is equal to minus 1 because uh, the calculated output doesn't match with the target over here we need to calculate w11 w21 b1 w12 w22 and b2 i have shown how to calculate these particular values once you calculate the modified values we need to give the next input here again the same thing we need to perform we need to calculate z in 1 z in 2 z1 z2 y in and y the calculated y in this case is minus 1 minus 1 does not match with this particular one again we need to modify this particular weights here the same thing will be done for all four inputs because we have modified this particular weights in this iteration or in this epoch we need to repeat the same thing in the next iteration also again we will start with the first input that is 1 1 once you give this particular 1 1 with modified weights the target is minus 1 here and the calculated output is again 1 1 and minus 1 doesn't match again we will modify this particular weights the same thing will be repeated for this particular four inputs because there is a change of weights in this iteration again we need to perform one more epoch over here again we need to start with this particular input 
the target in this case is minus 1 the calculated output in this case is minus 1 both of them are matching here because of that there is no need to do the weight updation whatever the weights are there they were retained as it is in this particular case now we will give the next input the next input target is equal to 1 here and the calculated target is calculated output is again 1 because there is a match again we don't do any modification the same thing has happened with remaining two inputs over here because there is no weight updation in this particular epoch we don't need to go with the next epoch we will stop over here and these will become the final weights of this particular network we have started with some uh, uh, assumed inputs and finally we come up with the final weights where there is no change in the target as well as the calculated output over here this is a simple process we need to follow to build or design XOR gate using Medaline neural network. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.